Hey guys, welcome back. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we're going to be checking out a new carry load from Norma. You guys probably think of Norma, you think of hunting ammunition, big bore stuff, uh, European calibers and things like that. But Norma is actually making carry ammunition in 9mm now. Really cool stuff. This is a 108 grain monolithic hollow point. We're going to be doing a battery of tests today, but first, I feel like we need to really just see some watermelons come apart because reasons. So, let's do it. You know, I'm not satisfied yet. A couple more things. All right, I think you guys can see where this is going. Just for fun, why not? All right, we're gonna uh, move on to some ballistics gel, have a little bit of fun. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're gonna be plugging some clear ballistics gel here with the 108 grain uh, monolithic hollow point from Norma. Out of this particular pistol, this is a CZ Phantom with a 4.6 inch barrel. We're getting about 1200 feet per second out of it, so a little bit slower than advertised velocities. Uh, we are going to be performing an FBI spec gel test. We've got a layer of denim, a layer of fleece, a layer of flannel, and a t-shirt layer. Okay, And we're about 10 feet away, so it's not terribly far away. This is definitely right on top of your distance. Alright, let's give it a shot. Alright, here we go. You guys ready? Sending it. Nice center shot. Looks like we got through all of our uh, material there. It's a, quite a thickly dressed person. Are we shooting hobos? I mean, because that's quite a few layers there. I don't know what the FBI is thinking, but let's go have a look. Okay, guys, initial exposure here. We've got our, uh, our poor hobo. What did he do to anybody? But anyway, the round's in there, okay? And it's a solid copper projectile, and it looks like it expanded just fine. And this sucker uh, opened up really nice. Uh, in terms of our, I'll tell you what, I need to I suppose measure there. We've got the measuring tape. We wound up getting just under 11 inches of penetration. And of course that passed through our blue jean material, fleece, flannel, and t-shirt, okay? It drug a little bit of material into the uh, wound channel permanent cavity looks pretty much in line with what you expect to see in a, in a copper solid in our previous testing. Now uh, you're going to be seeing a couple of comparative shots uh, coming through here. Uh, you know, I don't have the data right in front of me to see how some of the previous rounds have done, but guys, over the years we have tested a ton of different carry loads, and we've actually tested quite a few of them in a variety of different mediums. Everything from uh, more traditional ballistic gelatin all the way to like the clear ballistic gelatin that you see here. Um, there, there, there are camps of people out there, and I believe it is, and, and upon my observation, it is a merited concern. The clear ballistic gel is great, and it looks great on film, and you can see a little bit more of what's going on. But it does react a little bit differently than what you may expect to see out of a traditional ballistic gelatin. Uh, some projectile designs just tend to do better out of a little bit more traditional uh, medium. All right, you don't want me to be your trauma sur surgeon, guys, as you can see here. I normally have my eyeball pluckers to pull these things out, but let me cut it out here and we'll have a look. There we go. Just pull that meat out of there. You don't need that anymore. <laughs> Ooh, that's sharp. All right, hold him down. <laughs> okay. We got 100% weight retention on the projectile. That is a 108 grain copper solid. Uh, we love testing random new bits of ammo. Uh, you guys recall not long ago, we did a video on the Fort Scott munitions offerings that are new. Uh, they're very new to the market. We wanted to give those guys a fair shake. Norma contacted me and was like, hey, do you want to test this ammo? Absolutely. We love giving these rounds a fair shake and seeing what they're all about. We love our ammo test here on the channel. Um, so it expanded like it was supposed to in this particular medium. If you guys have followed some of our previous videos, you know that we've done a good bit of random stuff on other ammo in the past, and we've done some various types of uh, different things that we test and everything. So I'll tell you what, why don't we try maybe some drywall, and let's see how this round does maybe in a piece of drywall, and who knows, maybe we'll try a windshield. 
all right? Because that's a big thing is barrier blindness and a lot of carry uh, ammo. We've tested a wide variety of different ones and we tend to kind of flock a little bit to the Federal HST uh, and the 147 grain is, is a great option. Uh, we've also had very good results out of the Hornady critical uh, defense, critical duty uh, type rounds. They do exceptionally well and they're also very barrier blind. Out of a lot of our testing, it was one of the most barrier blind rounds that we uh, tested was the Hornady offerings. So let's, let's give this, since it's a new round, let's give it a shot uh, into some barriers and see how it performs. Let's do it. All right, 108 grain monolithic hollow point. This time, we're gonna plug a uh, two layers of drywall here and a layer of insulation into the same blocks. Uh, obviously, a fresh block on the uh, entry side here. And let's see how it does. As far as I know, I don't think this has ever been done. I think we're the first people to do this. Let's uh, give it a shot. All right, and you know, that's a pretty, pretty good looking wall. Maybe we should have John build the wall for Trump. That might work out pretty well. Might take him a while by himself, but you know. All right. All right, that might have favored a tiny scotch low, but let's go have a look. John, you're fired. That wall's not gonna keep Mexicans out. All right, anyway, um, it went through the drywall, through the insulation, and the bullet actually yawed and turned around and penetrated the entire block of gelatin and came to rest at uh, 17 and a quarter inches base forward. So the bullet yawed and ended up base forward, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but we did see the bullet did not expand, okay? However, However, you still got a hole in you that you weren't born with, okay? Let's get that out of here. Yeah, the projectile did not expand. But the nice thing about that, at least in terms of this video, is that now we have a pull bullet that we can look at. And we can, you know, you know, see that, that it does have a very odd type of ogive. When you look at the way that, that that's cold rolled in there and it has those, those kind of swage spots on it, and it seems to you know, feed quite well. You know, for a 108 grain bullet, it is a little bit on the long side, um, but really, really neat. And I tell you what, they don't really tout this as being a barrier blind load. That's not something that was really put out like in the press release about it. We just thought it would be fun to do barrier tests because really, when you start getting into barriers such as walls, windshields, uh, wood, and things like that, they really can choke up a lot of these hollow points. Uh, and that's a commonly known thing. Um, and really in a lot of the rounds that we've tested, a lot of rounds tend to not do well in the barrier testing. So uh, I'm not saying it doesn't mean it's a good round. It just may not be, you know, if you're wanting it to expand through a barrier, then it may not do that. But I'll tell you what, um, let's try a windshield. All right, guys, we've got some automotive glass that we're gonna shoot through. Uh, we're trying to put this round through its paces, guys. Just trying to show you guys what we see, reporting what we see here. Uh, same 108 grain monolithic hollow point from Norma. And uh, man, you cannot refute the consistent velocities of that uh, Vitivori powder that Norma uses. All right, here we go, auto glass. I'm gonna have to aim a little high because the rounds tend to dip down. Guys, auto glass and drywall and wood are some of the biggest killers of a hollow point in terms of expansion. So let's give it a shot and try. I'm gonna have to cheat a little higher. See if we can get it in there. All right, we'll see what happened. Okay, automotive safety glass. That's gonna be the last test of the day. Uh, I'm kinda out of gel here. We don't really have these two blocks today. Uh, went, through the, uh, went through the glass and it looks like a slightly ablong hole, not a clean pass through. And then what we wound up seeing was that the projectile went through the gel about the same distance as it would if it expanded and it did deform the projectile. And a lot of previous testing that we've done on various carry loads, especially using barriers and things, we found that some projectiles tend to collapse, whether the, uh, the hollow point itself collapses and then it just has straight line penetration, uh, just like a, uh, you know, a ball round would, or if the, if the hollow point doesn't open up and do anything and it just punches through, clean through. Um, we've seen that happen in various other cases as well. All right, we're gonna cut the projectile out and have a look. 
you know, we really wanted to give this a fair shake because, you know, Norma, they really make some awesome ammunition. If you guys are hunters, I'm pretty sure some of you are familiar with Norma's offerings. Uh, you know, they've been known for making a lot of really, really nice hunting projectiles or hunting rounds and everything, you know, loaded ammo. So again, just like we figured, we saw that it deformed when it hit the glass, entered the ballistics gelatin, and of course, it just deformed and didn't open up. Uh, that's not uncommon with, uh, with copper, solid copper projectiles. Um, definitely an interesting result. Guys, thank you for watching today's video. We really appreciate you guys. Um, hopefully, you know, we compared apples to apples on this. We really wanted you guys to kind of see what this new ammunition was about. Um, it seems like there's just tons of different carry ammo that's being brought out these days and there's so many different decisions to have to make, so many choices that you have out there that sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out what in the world you want. There's so many different things to choose from and there's nothing wrong with that. It's kind of cool that the market is supporting such a wide variety of different things that people can choose from. I could see this round being great in a small carry pistol, light recoil, um, definitely good accuracy. Um, you know, it would be great for that type of a situation. You know, maybe you're not worried about barrier blindness. Maybe you're not worried about shooting through someone's windshield or something. You know, I, I wouldn't necessarily pit it as like a law enforcement round, but it definitely could have its applications. And one thing, you know, you have to look at the pluses and the minuses. One thing that's really cool is that expansion is definitely there. So you do have slightly limited uh, penetration with that heavy expansion, which could give you, I could picture it as being a great round if let's just say you're in a situation where you're gonna be in a crowded place and you don't want the round to over penetrate and hurt an innocent bystander. Or if it does penetrate all the way through, it's not gonna go so far that it's gonna really cause anybody any deadly harm, okay? So it does have applications as a reduced collateral damage type round. Uh, also close in, um, personal protection, that sort of thing. It could certainly save you. And really, even out of all the tests, if somebody was in a car and let's just say that round went through the windshield and through this gel, they'd be having a very bad day. They certainly wouldn't want to uh, wouldn't want to be there. So guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. We wanted to give this Norma uh, monolithic hollow point a fair shot. I think it's cool. Uh, we wanted to try it out. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Maybe you learned something and maybe you're entertained a bit. We'll see you next time. Many more videos on the way. Uh, thanks to all of our Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. Uh, all the folks who purchase man cans to support the channel or merchandise uh, such as t-shirts and other uh, goodies over on the website. All of those funds go right back into putting these videos out. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.